So we got some big plans in the next week. We're actually gonna be going down to Miami, then from Miami to Jupiter, Florida, then from Jupiter, Florida, all the way over to Sarasota. Then from Sarasota, we're gonna be going to Central Florida and gonna be fishing some amazing bass lakes. This is gonna be a journey. You guys need to make sure the notification bell is turned on. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button if you're ready for some awesome content. And we're gonna kick some butt in the next week, so you guys better stay tuned. You guys could also follow me on my Instagram at Kicking Their Bass TV. I'll be updating you guys over the whole process, where we're at, the people that we're with. I'll be taking some Instagram stories, posting a lot of pictures. So go follow me over there. It's the reveal of the RV. I told you guys I was gonna make a little tiny tour. I was actually already at the RV lot. I got my boy Delton with me. You guys have not seen Delton in- Long time. Very long, long time. time. So Delton came out already. We already went in the RV. We saw the thing, but we're gonna show you guys here in a moment. What do you think, man? Dude, this thing is sick. <laughs> this thing is sweet. First thing I would like to say is thank you guys so much for the support. I wouldn't be able to buy this thing if it wasn't for you guys, and I mean that. Over the last decade, you know, making fishing content and uh, getting to know, you know, the supporters of the channel has been a blessing, and um, I really appreciate everything, and you know, this is the next little journey, the next little chapter. We're gonna be filming some cool things out of it. If you guys are wondering what this is, it's actually a 2020 Thor Hurricane. Got it over at my buddy's place in Camper RV Inn over here in Richmond Hill, Savannah, Georgia. And overall, it's just an awesome RV. I'm excited about it. I actually bought this at the end of the year in 2020. So I've actually already had this thing for a month, but it's just been sitting around. I've been trying to find storage for it, working on a back, bunch of background projects for the channel. Now we're ready to take it out this week. So let's go ahead and start the tour. We're gonna walk around the bus, come on on this side. And uh, I actually don't have, I have the keys. By the way, this is my first Ford too. Show them this, Delton. What do you think about the old Ford, man? What do you <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know how Delton feels about Fords. You know how I feel about Fords, man. I mean, look, look, look at what I got over there. I mean, I mean, mini kicker mobile, basically. So, I mean, you, you know, I'm a Chevy fan, hardcore. So right here on the outside, we got a lot of storage along here. We be stuffing that thing. All these compartments. Um, in the back here, we got the poopy pump. You know, the poopy pump. Um, that's Adam's job, actually. We'll catch back up with you guys next week, and Adam can describe you the poopy pump. And we got some city water connection. This is gas, by the way. It's not diesel. Um, I really wanted to get a diesel one, but they're just so much more money, and uh, I already paid a lot of money for this. So it's just one of those things. This is the starter. This is the first thing, and then we'll we'll upgrade over the years. We got the canopy over the top. Not only that, but this is pretty cool. I have my truck key out this whole time. I thought I had the RV keys though. This is the wrong key. <laughs> so this is cool. You know, if we want to have a little bonfire, chill out at night, there's a TV right there. Um, one of the models that I was looking at, this is actually a 34R. It has a lot more room in the insides. It doesn't have bunk beds and it doesn't have an outdoor kitchen. That was one of the things I was looking at for the RVs because the one before this, actually right here, there was a cutout, had a sink, it had a refrigerator had everything which would have been really cool for some catch and cooks but we can do this either way so i'm tired of boring you guys with the outside that's not really the fun part so let's go ahead take it inside so when we come in here we got we are showing that for you the captain's chair got the captain's chair got the passenger's chair this is actually pretty neat um you know if i had somebody driving um if i wasn't driving you know we we're taking turns i could actually edit right here which is neat this actually pops right out can set my computer here and be editing on the road, which is awesome because you know, I got to get a lot of work done while we're traveling. Right. Actually, I want to show something before I do this. Right here, this is actually a bed. And so this comes down. I'm not going to lower it all the way down, but um, just hold this down. There's a bed up there. So we can sleep somebody right above the driver's seat, which is cool. It just doesn't let you bring it down when you're driving for obvious reasons. So when you guys come over here, you're probably saying, you know, this is really tight. Like look how small this walkway is back here. But let me show you guys. This is the cool part about it. Oh! <laughs> I hit my knee. All right, so here's the fun part. This is what's gonna get really exciting. Delton, show them one more time how tight this is. Okay? You got maybe a foot and a half walkway. Now watch this. No, no, you're good. All right, so that's one side out. Show them how much room now. Okay, but there's more, but wait, there's more. So here we go, what side? It's actually 1.15 a.m. here. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's 1.15. So if we go up to the front, we time travel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's, you know, it's 5 a.m. up front. Yeah, okay, here. okay, makes sense. So now that we have it all opened up, you guys can tell so much room in here, which this was like my final decision. The reason I ended up going with this RV 
it's because it just had so much room in the inside like there's recliners right here like we're just sitting down chilling like we could have some people over there even the driver's seats they actually turn around which is really cool um, but you just have so much room in this one which i really like so you have two recliners you have a kitchen table right here this kitchen table actually turns into a bed so this will drop down these cushions will slide over and these will lay flat that's a bed this couch right here actually turns into a bed and then you know what i showed you guys earlier this right here actually drops down turns into a bed and then we have the king suite back here this is where i'll be sleeping back in this comfy old bed i don't know how the beds are going to be man i think like before my trip we're gonna have to go it's not that bad i don't know man i might have to go buy one of those like memory foams to kind of like put over the top you know what i'm talking about a little like thick tempur pedic things but yeah this is the king suite um you got closet space in here which is really cool you actually got a lot of room one thing i love about this one as well being in like the main room back here is it has windows there's a lot that didn't have any windows at all and it's just cool to kind of look out the windows and just see at least natural light. There's actually a pond right behind us, so that's- Oh, um, look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? How convenient, right? <laughs> But yeah, so this is the, the king suite. You got a TV right here. These cabinets right here is actually room for washer and dryer, mm. which I will be purchasing very soon. We have the bathroom and the shower. Bathroom right here. Shower right here. Um, yeah, open that shower for him. And this is actually a fairly large shower for RVs. Um, between the ones I looked around, you know, this one is pretty spacey and uh, you can get in and out of it without you know, having a problem. So another cool thing, this might be weird to talk about, but hey, we're doing the review. The toilet, which is, that's a big thing about the RV, man. This toilet, is, is you're sitting perfect. A lot of the RVs had the toilets in the corner and your knees were like hitting the corners of the walls and stuff, and man. Like that's, that was actually a decision too. I was like, man, the toilet's in a good spot. It's got a decent shower, so that's all good. This is the control panel. So pretty much here, um, you can control everything, all the panels, you can control the lights, you control the heat and air, control everything. Like with the lights, we can just turn them off just like that. That's the master lights. Um, TV right here, which is cool. Also another TV, that's the biggest TV right there. Um, we got the front. What else am I missing? We didn't talk about the kitchen. Mm, didn't talk about the kitchen. The kitchen, it actually has a lot of space. I really love that. Got a microwave, got the stove top, got the oven, and then of course the sink right here. And I just love how spacey this kitchen is. It's like, it's not too small. You know, you got a lot of room, so I thought that was awesome about this. But, but yeah, that is pretty much the basis, man. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I, that I missed that I would love to talk about. But we're going to be filming a lot this week in the RV, so I, I just wanted to kind of make this quick and brief. I didn't want to, you know, bore you guys with it, because we're going to be in this thing all week for the next, like, two weeks. So, yeah, guys, that is the RV. Like I said, I'm super blessed and thankful. I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for you guys, and I mean that. But I'm excited for the content. You guys better stay tuned. It's going to be some awesome things. I actually have a lot of fishing footage where my dad actually beat me and Isaac on the water. He just bullied us, to be quite honest with you. My dad caught some big fish. Me and Isaac were like, what's going on, man? I was so cold. I was just in like a hoodie and sweatpants and the wind was just cutting through me. But I'm actually going to show some of that footage. Um, my dad caught some big ones, man. You guys love Big Steve, so I'm going to show him right here. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. Now let's go ahead and hop into it. Stay tuned for the content next week. It's going to be good. What is popping, boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. Yes, I look like a Oompa Loompa right now. I got this thing covering my eyes. I got it covering my ears. I got it covering just about anything because it's very cold this morning. It is a low of 26 today, a high of, I think, high 30s. So it's pretty chilly. We had a bunch of ice on the boat this morning and uh, I'm just excited to get out here and catch some fish. What you guys gotta understand is the winter time is sometimes can be some of the best time to go fishing. Like, you can have some of your best days in the winter. The thing to think about is when you find one fish, you usually find 10. So, the fishing can be amazing today. Let me make sure I lock this truck. By the way, I'm, I have a Ford right now. I got a rental truck. I have a lot of problems with my truck because the people working on it last time. So, that's very aggravating. I got two special guests today that you guys are going to enjoy being on the episode. We're going to catch some big fish, so let's go ahead and get it started. Speaking of Oompa Loompas, even though I look like one... <laughs> look at this guy! Who's the Oompa Loompa? <laughs> Who's the Oompa Loompa, Isaac? Is it me or my dad? 
<laughs> I, I told the camera, I was like, yeah, I look like an Oompa Loompa with this thing on. <laughs> What's, What's poppin', people? Welcome back to another episode here with Getting His Bass Kicked TV today. Because Big Daddy Van Dam is in the house, and you know what's going to happen when he's here. And then we got Mr. Isaac up here. What's up, Isaac? What's going on, everybody? I haven't seen you in forever. We're going to make it happen. You ready to go catch him? <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. We're going to catch him. <laughs> I'm ready, dude. Look at the baits that this guy has on the boat today. We're going to be throwing some A-rigs. Maybe we'll throw that big HUD that he's got down there. He's got some jigs on. Blade bait, underspins. I got an underspin on that rod. We're going to rig up a few here in a moment. But... I'm just pumped to be out here on the water today. It's a beautiful day, even though it's very cold. I mean, it's, it's chilly. It's, know what the water it's very is, chilly. I'll say it's probably about 47 degrees. Did you try on the ground? No, I didn't yet. What, what, what can you predict for today? Uh, what I can predict is I know one thing I'm going to catch is a cold. hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. There's no doubts on that one. My prediction is they're going to put me in the back of the boat so they can sit up front and try to have the advantage. And I'm going to sit right back here and do what I do, go to work and show them who the boss is. That's just a prediction. <laughs> What's look, that right there? It look, it's like has your eyes blurry. Yeah, what is that, Steve? Do you see that? You see that? All right, let me back up. It looks like that. Like just. I think that's the juice, bro. I'm not even gonna mess with that. It's going to the left. That, that is bait, is it not? Let me get the, let's throw the bait in there. There he is. Get him. <laughs> it might have been bait. Is he big? All right. That's bait, brother. First fish of the day goes to Daddy so. Van Dam. I'm glad I could take you guys to, to class today. <laughs> You what know was what that? happens when you're fishing with the big bad boy. Is he big? Put it on spot lock now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know how to do that. All right. You got it. Is he big? No, it's a decent two and a half pounder. Now he's got to get my hands cold so I can get even more freezing. See what he does here? Yeah. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good look little chunky bass. Eyes, that's a great man. One. Yeah, look at his red. He's got a little orange. Show that camera. Look at that. Look at those red eyes. You want me to take a picture real quick? Nah. Should we have something? We don't need no picture. Okay. That's well, a, it, we got enough. It's a two pounder though. It's a two pounder. By the way, Big Steve's recording and Isaac's recording. I'm in the Whoa, game. dude, that's cool. I didn't know you could see that. I don't know. Look I don't at know, that. I don't know what's going on. Wait, do you see that? Yeah. It's a it's a look image. On the inside. Look on the other side. Yeah, it's got the screen. That's all mine is. Uh oh. Oh my god. That is a twofer <laughs> up on you guys. Is that what that <laughs> they're is? They're on that point. They're on that. Yeah, point. they're there. That was bait. See, that was bait. That was definitely that was bait. bait. A little pecker. That's Ooh. Two. That's two. We're going for fifty, right? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at his upper lip. Come on, man. No, his bottom lip too. Oh, yeah. He's got some black lips. Look at him. Wow. I've never, look at that bottom lip and top lip. Okay. What do you think that's from? You see the little spots on them? I don't know. Oh, I, oh, that's you, you Twinkie. You hit my line. I thought one was tugging on me. Oh, no. That's a big one. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's dude, that's good. like a six pounder. No, like actually, that's like a damn six pounder. <laughs> you want to grab him, Isaac? <laughs> you want to? You want to get him? You want me to get him? <laughs> you ain't boat flipping that thing. It's like six pounds. It's a good one. It's six pounder. It's a good one, How much you want to bet? Put him in the oh, <laughs> get your hands wet, son. Get your hands wet. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my god. Son, don't let him come off of there. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, yeah. that's a big one, dude. Going down. Dude, that's a five pounder. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, five? That's five. Oh yeah. my god, he was. Dude, that's good. a good one. They are smoking that thing. Look at that one, guys. That is a five pounder. Excellent. When I saw him roll, I was hey, like, "Hit oh, the dude. spot lock, bro." Guys, look at that. Big Steve got him a five pounder. That's a big one, dude. Big that's Steve, a big one. Big fish. I thought he was six when you were working him in. That's a freaking big one. Look at his lips too. See his lips sick? That's a big Boy, he's got some bright red lips. What's that from, son? That's a good fish. Crawfish. Crawfish, crawfish, crawfish doggy. Crawfish I think we're gonna put it in the throat. box. Let me see in there. Dude, if we can get a picture of 25 pounds, we I think will. we're gonna, we're do, gonna it do that today. Okay. <laughs> put them in the lab well and we'll keep fucking. That's awesome, right? Thank mm -hmm. you. 